catch you in the summer. Hi, my name is Maricruz. I'm from Spain. Can you do it in Spanish? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Hola, mi nombre es Maricruz. Soy de España. Just check. My name is Robin. I'm from Australia. Now in Spanish. <laughs> mi nombre. Nombre es Roberto. Soy de Australia. <laughs> Now you. Me llamo Nathaniel. Natalia. Sono di Singapore. Ooh, but it's uh, Italian man. Very, very, very. Reasons to choose the reasons why you chose the international program. Like why did you choose to go on Erasmus? You started next. No, whoever wants to answer first. I thought chivalry was well and truly alive. <laughs> what was that? I thought chivalry was well and truly alive. <laughs> oh okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay, a uh, reason to choose the Erasmus program. Uh, you know, students. new people um, meet a uh, exchange student, um, you know, uh, shares or the things here, dream, parties. You know, some people uh, like me. I don't know. Yeah, of course. Like you, you can think of who you are. Not as people like you. <laughs> the main reason for choosing to go on exchange uh, was that I guess I. It took me five years to discover that you could actually go on exchange. Um, so it seemed like a good idea. I didn't really, I just jumped into it. I didn't actually think too much about it. Um, I don't regret it at all. So, I mean, why would you? Pretty much a holiday for four months. Uh, but unfortunately, it comes to an end quite quickly. So, enjoy it while you can. So, next question. Why do you, why do you answer the question? Yeah, you! Come on, man. <laughs> I, I, I wanted to get out of Singapore to get a new experience. To meet people, to meet people, learn, learn. You're really selling people. Italian and Spanish, yeah, of course. Yeah, selling you know. uh, Learn, hopefully, learn a new language. Eat some pizza, eat some pasta, authentic pizza and pasta. Yeah. Um, meet people like Mary Cruz and Robbie. Great people. Yeah, that's, that's, that's about it. <laughs> why Luke? Okay, why Luke? Oh, at the beginning I thought that Leo was in Milan. No, we are in this village. <laughs> Didn't do your research. In the middle of nothing, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> we have Talismano. <laughs> and we have Leniano, the mode. Leniano? Yeah. We have a lot of classes. We have Leniano. Gigante. Yeah, of course. It was, like I said before, I initially wanted to go to Torino, um, but I had to take my second choice. That I wanted to improve my Italian. Um, so, any Italian university. <laughs> Would suffice, I guess. So I chose to come to Castellanza. Um, I didn't really put too much thought in it. So it was like, you know, when I had the option, I took it. So, um, <coughs> yeah, despite the fact that Mary Cruz thinks that it's it's in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> yeah. it is. Uh, but I think it kind of makes it fosters it like an environment that you probably wouldn't find in other places. In terms of like, if you're in Milan, we're mm -hmm. a very tight knit group here. Whereas if you're in, and that big city, everyone's always going to be doing something and you're going to, there's going to be more groups whereas up down here, it's one big group with you know, sad pockets of, you know, of tighter, you know, people with more common interests but you know everyone and you always do things together and stuff whereas if, you know, if there's, a, if there's too many things to do like we've been in Milan, you probably yeah. would never see each other yeah. uh, and we wouldn't have such a good ESM group as in the members of the ESM that look after us because they want to party just as much as we do because there's not much to do here, so they really look after you. Yeah. My answer is exactly the same as both of them. So, anyway, next question. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, Luke, to be honest, wasn't my first choice. It was it was uh, my third choice. And it was there, it was ranked third because um, I knew that it was a university that not many people in my school would go to, and that meant that I have a greater chance of going to Luke. So that's why I applied for Luke. Okay. Uh, happy? <laughs> so, thanks for that. What were, what were your expectations before? Of improve my English, of course. Yeah. But maybe Italian, then, you know. <laughs> maybe Robbie can speak in Italian, no us. <laughs> okay, you guys are fun. Okay, I can speak in Italian, but you know, like, you Como ti chiami? Yo capisco un po' italiano, ma non lo parlo. Can you see? People improve my English and trolls, you know, I don't know. Uh, to be honest, like I said before, I didn't actually have much expectations because it's like when you you plan to go out. Yeah. Just that's fine if they don't even just don't pay attention. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's like when you plan a big night with your friends and the expectation's really high and the night doesn't doesn't come out the way you expected. So if you set the expectation it doesn't come out 
it's never as good as it otherwise would be. So I, I tried not to, I tried not to think about it too much. Yeah. I really didn't think about it at all. Once I decided, I kind of just thought whatever it is is what it is, and I think that's probably the best way to go about it sometimes. Um, other than obviously learning Italian and you know general things that my cruise went over, I didn't really. I did set something like I wanted to go to 10 different places in Italy or go to you know, certain places. I just you know, just went with yeah. the flow and whoever else was going and just really tried to say yes to everything and just most of the time. So that's uh, I didn't really have much expectations. I, I, I had no idea what to expect. I know I you know the only thing I expected was a lot of drinking, which <laughs> so far came true. Always, um, you are always with the Spanish guys, are yeah. you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true, Spanish guys. Um, uh, yeah, besides that, I didn't really expect much else. Um, I'll just go and see what, what it's like and, and, and whatever happens, then it happens. And if I like it, then I like it. <clears throat> Uh, I don't know if it doesn't make sense, but it definitely if, doesn't make sense. If if I don't like it, then I don't like it. <laughs> What's done is done, my friend. Really? Yeah. All is well that ends well. That right? is too profound for all you people to understand, but <laughs> oh, <laughs> you people. Your experience so far compared to your expectations. So that I'm going to be in Milan, you know, a big city, a uh, place to go, um, a lot of things to do, uh, go out all the nights, but. Now we are here in the middle of nothing, but I don't know, I think that is fine. We have Talismano, we have Acta, we have Bristro, uh, the bridge in the park, in the, the parties in the bridge. Um, I don't know, I think it's fine. It's what I expect, I think. <coughs> Maybe more than stay here, but it's fine. I'm happy to stay here. But all in all, uh... I guess I expected that it, we wouldn't be such a close group of people as it is. Mm, yeah. I usually, like I said before, there's pockets of people and groups, whereas I think the environment here has made us sometimes like not go to Milan as often and not go out to other places because there's always something to do. Everyone's ready to party here and you just really want to get the most out of yeah, because enjoy we, the time with because people. Because we yeah. do that lazy to get out. That's probably <coughs> more. That, that is. That the train is the trains ran on Sunday. I mean, the buses ran on Sunday. Yeah. yeah that's true. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But all in all, um, obviously it's been a positive experience, um, and I guess you can never, you can never really say what could have been because you just don't know. Um, uh, other than that, I guess we're kind of answering the questions. They're all kind of connected, so you're going to keep overlapping. But yeah. Positive experience, um, definitely learned a lot and I probably will, once I reflect on everything that's happened and all that for the last three and a half months, I'll probably... Um, I had an amazing experience so far, uh, but then, yeah, <laughs> but then was amazing, especially with Robbie, this guy. Uh, yeah, aside, aside from my travels outside of Italy, uh, yeah, like my experience was great. Like I had a lot of fun, met a lot of great people. Um, great or great? Great. Oh, I thought I could be understood. Here, so, from you, were Robbie. Yeah. <laughs> um, also, I've gotten much closer to a lot of other people than what I expected to be at the start. So it was a very good experience. I mean, you, you know about the the cultures, the lifestyles of uh, other people in Italy in. in in Spain especially, uh, so it's good, very good, very good experience. Can you give some suggestions to those people who are thinking of taking on the Erasmus or exchange program in Duke? Okay, uh, my opinion is that you must come to, if, I don't know, uh, you have to choose every, every place that you want <coughs> and maybe you don't want that place that they give you, I, it doesn't care because every place is going to be fun, you are going to meet a lot of people. Well, I, I can it. understand you better than I understand Robbie. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think when you go on exchange you, you meet a lot of interesting people trying to get away from things at home and just some, some people, not all. Um, and then you see some people who who really stand out in the crowd, 
and you see others who are a lot more reserved. Um, this is commenting on the whole program. Um, I have a bit of my experience. Heading into Milan for the ESN nights, which uh, the people on exchange from Erasmus in the universities in Milan, as well as us. You see some very interesting characters around, um, and some of us got, got talking one night, and we kind of came to the conclusion that the reason why the Duke experience is quite unique and why we have so much fun here is because the standard to, to come here is quite low in the sense that it doesn't require the most marks um, and they usually have a lot of places. Um, and because of that, a lot of the people here are quite sociable and have an, they, they understand how to have fun but you know, just get by. Whereas a lot of the other universities in line have a higher standard. Um, I think they have to do a lot more work. And having said that, you get a lot more people who've come out here to make friends because, and, and go wild but they don't know the way to go about it. Um, and Asmos would be the best experience of your life. Uh, Luke would be an amazing like, place for anyone to go to, um, regardless of how much you like to study, regardless of <coughs> why your reasons are for coming here. Um, it doesn't really matter. Uh, just all in all, have fun and just, you know, always say yes to everything. Uh, that's not you. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Why are you ruining my credibility? <laughs> oh. Doesn't matter where you come from, jump on board, do a lot of fun. Can you say any suggestions? Oh, no, same, same as before. Yeah. So let's go on to the next one. No, the most important suggestion I have is to just say, say yes, let like Robbie say, say yes. And um, as much as you feel lazy or you're having doubts as to whether you want to do something or meet someone, just, just go ahead and do it. Because you never know what's in store for you. So what's the climax of your trip? I have no idea. Too many. Oh my god. Too many, right? Everything. Too many, right? Everything. Everything. <laughs> you first. I, I would, can I? Can I? Before the before the slide, 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 I don't know, bro. Do we? Thank you. If we, we, we share the video, if we don't, we don't I'll be disappointed. <laughs> this whole exchange program is a highlight in itself in, in my whole life in my entire short life experience I've had so far this this is a highlight so I, I can't single out any any um, any instance of of climax uh, in this in this <laughs> rest it's like moist no, it's like the word moist I can't take it moist. seriously what's wrong with moist <laughs> It's moist down there. What? What's wrong with it? Yeah, yeah, but it's uh, up there. Yeah. <coughs> it's moist down there. What? It's moist down there. What? Yeah. So, so there's just too many highlights and climaxes um, to, to pinpoint and single. Hey, highlights. Any. Just highlights. No, you can choose only one. Sorry, it's everything. Okay, I'm and sorry. I'll just choose climax then. Everything. You can choose one. Okay. No, I haven't had any standout climaxes, but <laughs> highlights the ease of being able to to go anywhere in Europe relatively easily. Um, it's probably the highlight to in general. Yeah. We'd like to thank everyone for watching. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Yeah. Please subscribe to George's yeah. whatever channel. Yeah. Next Matty Cruz wants to say something. Oh, no, I don't want to say anything. Okay, you should say this. Next time.